Hello, this is Slashy, and today we are taking a look at this new version of Grog, a uh, side project by Thomas Biscop. It's been a long time since the last version was released, actually it was May 2022, and we are today is July the 8th, 2023, so just as a very quick reminder of what Grog is, uh, basically this is a roguelike game that Thomas wanted to create. Uh, when he well, he got inspired by playing the original Rogue in the Rogue Life Celebration 2018, I was there with him, and he wanted to go back to creating this kind of simpler games, like the original or the initial versions of Phaedom. So he actually started working in the game there in the Rogue Life Celebration event, and he stopped working on it for a long time. Then he came back to it and was able to release that version on 2020 last year after yeah I, I think I wrote a post about that somewhere in Temple of the Roguelike I believe with the full story of Grog so we have a new version today version 101 so the idea with this is being a very classic roguelike that, that can, can be played hard and fast and where every monster is kind of unique special rooms he also wants apart from all this he wants the game to be very polished like with a modernized UI so we'll see how that goes growth one grog 101 with a lot of bug fixes and two enhancements so I think version 100 was a bit unstable it had some crashing bugs that were reported and well these were addressed for this version so preventing crashes fixing typos well some bug fixes and then two enhancements which is yes, basically just displaying the version numbers and removing some brackets so not a lot of changes in the gameplay or not an, even a lot of um, improvements on the UI just some bug fixes but it's worth still taking look, a look at it so I already prepared this I think uh, let me move that to here I think not sure why it picked my name by default maybe it read from some uh, system properties or something from the previous runs that I had with this game with the previous version Grog version 101 released to build 1871 by Dr. Thomas Biscop it's a derogatory title for season warrior Ahead of you lies the Dungeon of Despair, countless adventurers lost their lights trying to find the fabled Throne of Immortality. Will you perish too? Or will you win the ultimate prize? I'm Slashy, male, type. How do I know the types? Okay, it picked the default. Are, are there classes? I Now that I remember, I think it's just cosmetic. Moriturite Salutant Slashy, the male croc. Prepare yourself, t thyself, to explore the dungeon of despair. I am ready, I think. Slashy descends into the depths of the dungeon of despair. Alright, and there's a G. Goblin. I'm trying to hit it, it's killed now. So you can see here <coughs> my name. It's a little bit obscured by the by the camera. Um, then there's AC, armor class, I believe, hit points, strength, dexterity, condition, maybe, dungeon level 1, zero gold, MP, maybe, 7, experience 1 of 2 to 5, um, 2 of piety. Let's check the help screen again. So we can move using whilst, or very quickly using switch, uh, shift, space to wait, dot to wait a lot until fully healed enter to interact so as you can see already it has quite a bit of key bindings but all of these are just movement and movement facilities as for actual interaction commands we have uh, in inventory e or i to check the inventory c or comma to pick up items using items with f for some reason maybe firing once no firing firing something i don't know u to use items c to sub once x and t to throw to pray and I remember yeah we have piety here so 
we, we can look into that and for the monster list then this screen some config display options and there's some hints here armor class hit points strength security constitution M is the number of moves, it's not a magic points, it's the number of moves. Okay. Ah, I missed that last thing. Piety, whether we can pray or not. Hints, there's a lot of hints. I am here. <laughs> I had forgotten that I'm in the credits as well. For me, the torch bearer <laughs> are the roguelike world. Okay, thank you for that. I wish I could do more for the roguelike community, but so many things going on. It's hard. I, I really want, for instance, to get that RogueNet virtual environment running, but there's just not enough time to get it done well. But, well, maybe sometime I will. Ignacio Bergkamp. Ah, crap, I keep pressing escape instead of space. Okay, access high. Let's see. So we have a Slimmy Potion and an Amber Potion. You can check the inventory using I. There's what I have equipped is highlighted, and then I have the Slimy and the Amber Potion, which I'm going to use. So, the Slimy Potion is to detect monsters. I'm going to use them because it's pretty much riskless, risk free. I feel determined with one or the other. So, I can. I am, my mind is right now connected with that of the other monsters in the dungeon. So, this one is. Moving towards me threateningly. Gonna dance a little bit and then just kill him. We have a mace. 1d6 one one plus 4. Not that bad. When we already found the stair, we're going down, but let's explore the level a little bit more to find some, I some cool items. Nothing here. Alright, giant rat. Padded armor, letter, letter armor. I wonder if I can examine it. Oh, we missed another um, command, which is interesting. I'm gonna check it out in a little bit. It's the monsters list. I just noticed that, and I'm gonna confirm that, I don't seem to be able to move diagonally. Yep, only cardinal direction. So that's a design choice, of course. So I cannot attack that goblin. Uh, so let's just move it to here. Yeah. Miss, 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 and we kill him. And then I'm gonna check the monster memory. So there's the M command. If we, I press M, I don't see any. Oh, okay, so I believe that's like to try to identify monsters on screen. It's not like an encyclopedia of monsters or, or anything like that. Alright, that's scroll Elbereth. Ha! Attacks. Reference. Let's read it. Mm -hmm. Elbereth. Red. 1d6 plus 4. And now... Where is it? Plus 6. So it added 2 points to my maze, which is awesome. That's a good bonus. Um, probably are going to keep that maze around for a little bit. Okay. There's a rat there. Let's explore the dungeon level. I mean, it's pretty safe and we can find some useful stuff. The rat hasn't seen me, but just try to hit me. So let's try that M. So it's a giant rat. AC12 HD. I guess it's the damage roll 1d4 and number A probably I don't know what that is 1 let's check again here oops oops and by the way the music that is playing is not from Grog it's from Ananias but I like to put it when there's no music <laughs> the monsters I don't think I don't think there's any help for the monster stats 
so we don't know what is that a number maybe I don't know what it is we are picking up some food as well red potion I'm gonna go ahead and drink it because I'm risky and I'm now more healthy probably a health recovery potion but that should be a bow maybe long sword nice but for that one I'm not gonna wear it because I believe <laughs> last time I played I think I that 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 is more risky like uh, getting stuck with a cursed or cursed I never know how to pronounce that like a weapon you cannot take from your hands cursed maybe the course of something I guess so there's a last room here oh there's another room oh yeah just a connection so there's a, a food there there's a bat we can kill him no problem iron ration great and let's go to the next dungeon level C M we it's a zombie but we don't know anything about it the wind yeah so after hitting the zombie we know a little bit about it AC 14 HD 48 so much stronger than um, I think number A is number of appearances probably there, is, there are not many options as what you can do you know there is no skills or magic spells or anything like that because it really tries to to have that that spirit of the original rogue so basically it's the items that you find if you find some wand well that's the magic that you can do um if you find a ranged weapon well then you can use that re that ranged weapon and i my back is tingling and i don't know what that means if anyone from the stream knows what that means please let me know what does that mean i believe it meant that i was Feeling like there was something secret nearby, probably. Okay, two rats. And I gained a level, plus four HP. And nothing else, no choices. As I, again I mentioned, I feel threatened. Greatly endangered. I wonder if that's a warning not to drink that potion. Oh, it was because of the trap. All right, so let's drink the potion. I briefly sense the presence of monsters, but I don't see any monsters, so maybe the dungeon is pretty, it's pretty safe. So far, we're doing pretty good. So there's this trap here and we have to trigger it. I don't believe there's any way to disarm traps. Probably if we throw something at it, throw an item. So let's try throwing the long sword in the direction of it. Oh, well, it just flew over. <laughs> so that, that was not very useful. Let's throw another thing. Let's throw the, the iron ration. It landed there. I wonder if it can still be triggered. We'll see in a bit. The cobble threatens me and hits me. Translucent potion, which I'm going to drink and I can feel the monsters. So there's a lot of monsters, actually. Why am I exploring? Well, first off, I still haven't found the exit to the next level, so I have to explore. I don't think I will... Ah, crap, now I have to go there to pick the long sword back. Oh, so, yeah, this is different. Like, the, the first time I was, like, connected to the minds of the monsters, but that potion, that other potion instead was just giving me the location at that time but they then could move okay ebony wand so let's let's sap the wand sap the 
Ebony wand in the direction of the zombie, so it's a, a slow down wand. Wand of slow monster, and it seems to have two charges left. I think that's useful. Fortune cookie, fortune cookie, cookie. Let's eat it. A cronky snack. It contains a scrap of paper which reads. They say that knowledge comes with persistence, and that is true in roguelikes, at least. Persistence of playing over and over and over again. This was the upward stair. Padded armor letter armor so I don't think we can examine items like they are when we try to use them they get identified but we have no way of knowing the stats of the items there's a lot of items that are being thrown I am hungry okay chain mail I think unless I discover a scroll of identification identification or, or anything like that it's very very unsafe to equip things okay so this is the long sword that I threw I'm hungry right so let's eat the apple what happened there I want to did I eat it I think there's a slight a small display bug here again because of the terminal screen size that I picked so it's scrolling sometimes a little bit and I miss what happens like uh, the, the message log but that's what you get when you want to create a really accurate traditional roguelike you have to deal with these kind of things it, this is running a terminal I can change the font I can change the text size but that comes with the downside of sometimes a little bit of setup that is needed we're gonna eat the iron ration a bit stale but very nourishing I don't even know what an iron ration is it's a Dungeons and Dragons thing of course but what it is I don't know so that goblin did not want to attack me so why, why would I attack him we are fine let's go downwards now this one wants to fight you want to die tunic hmm I don't think so did I kill an orc unwantedly amber potion I will try it I think overall it's not that bad um, to identify use Oh, so I identified something. I wonder how accurate my identification skills are. But yeah, it's not that good. That padded armor probably should discard it when I. Was it so far? The enemies have been pretty much not unique. I would say, like uh, I haven't seen like any special behavior where well, we saw that goblin which did not want to attack maybe but yeah like no no special effects blue potion full healing okay greatly in danger so there's there's probably a trap somewhere here so let's pull back that's a ring probably we are full health copper ring yeah equipment I would not uh, risk wearing this giant bat is trying to threaten me you don't know who am I I hit the giant bat I killed him gained a level and became more agile great the quasit should we leave the level then just dive I believe we can. Oh, oh, girl. It should probably be slow already. So let's try to run away from him. 
it's not that slow it's moving at the same pace that I am I so let's let's fight it miss and dead mr. augury wasn't that bad a leprechaun that those are the guys that steal gold from you I think so yeah I don't want you anywhere nearby me how can I keep him at bay I think I can try let's throw a longsword at him well why do I need the gold that's a good question I don't need the gold but I don't want to lose it either so throw the longsword down boom seven damage and then I will just wait and hit him once, two misses, and I killed him. And there was some gold here. Next to the leprechaun, probably he stole it from some other grog. Scroll, let's read it. Moria, Moria. Whoops, I summoned an ogre, but I believe I can't deal with him. Oh, so, okay, so I got hit for nine damage, and I just noticed that this entire lower bar is uh, like my hit points I don't have any recovery item so I'm going to use what I have at hand I'm gonna slow him down and I'm gonna run away like a wise adventurer another ogre I think that was probably like a higher level ogre Greatly in danger. There should be a trap there, and the ogre doesn't want to move. I think there's a trap here, and he doesn't want to step on it. I step on it. Well, but I, I avoided the trap. Oh, he was sleeping, but he is no longer sleeping. Ogre. There's no longer the A number thing. Weird. So the damage is 2d6 plus 2, which is uh, 2, 4, 2, 14. So he can kill me in two lucky blows. No, that's the... What is HD? <laughs> I think it's probably missing in the in the health screen. It's missing the, the monster stats. So yeah, that's a bit problematic. But he w woke up and I will have to face him. So there you go. Oops, oops, oops. I'm going to die. Let's let's try to run away. But I'm going to sap him as well. We do want a slow monster. Bloop. And I'm going to try to run away. And I'm probably going to try to recover here. I feel excited about the longsword. Hmm, I don't trust my guts there. Well, it automatically for 193 turns, so I spent a lot of food, probably. Just to survive, because I don't believe I'm going to engage with this. Oh, so I identified the longsword. 1, 2, 1d8 plus 3. Hmm. The plus 1. I wonder what the plus 1 is. Because the maze did not get a plus one when I blessed it, so I don't know. Alright, no, I think we should stick to the maze. Hefted? What is hefted? I don't know. I can probably wear the chainmail, I believe I will risk it because it's this is a dangerous level. So let's equip the chainmail. AC plus 4 and doesn't seem to be cursed. Cursed. So, yeah. That's fine. Let's see if we can evade the ogres. Still slow or sleeping, and no. I'm hungry now because I spent a lot of turns recovering my hit points. The rat is death. Slime mold. That's edible. I think I saw that in a Rogue Celebration talk. So this is like an ogre layer. And they are pretty strong. But should I continue fleeing? 
not sure. Okay, so this ogre is threatening me. I'm gonna just throw the long sword at him. Boom, three damage. 48 plus three, I think it does the hit point. So it can it can can't have a maximum of 35 hit points. And I just did three. <laughs> Let's throw all that we have. Let's throw that him the the <laughs> I don't know. The long the identified long sword. Ooh bam. Six damage, okay. Let's throw the iron ration. Ah, I did not throw it, I ate it. Uh, Let's throw the copper ring. Boom. Miss. Okay. Let's let's hit him. Boom. Miss. Miss. Seven. Miss. Ten. And it's down. And there are three items here, of course. A, A, and A. The three things that I threw at him. Some gold. Oh, another come out of nowhere. Boom. Boom. Twelve. They means a lot. I think I got a. I think it's because of the chainmail that I'm doing better because it, the armor class is much better. So that chainmail suddenly made this level more playable. Oh my god! I got a long sort of animal slaying. Suddenly, all of a sudden, I identified it. I believe this is one of the bugs that he fixed. Like uh, these long names were creating havoc in the game. 1, D, 8, plus 3, and it's of animal slaying, so... I wonder if this auto-identification also checks for being cursed. You... cursed. You see, I, I have mentioned that so many times because it's a really pain in the ass. Many small blades swirl... Oops. But... Small... Blade. I guess it's going to be safe to traverse. That's where the exit is. The goblin is dead. Fortune cookie. Okay, let's read the fortune cookie. They say that doom might prolong your plight eternally. Okay. That goes all the way to the other room with a dead goblin. Padded armor, hmm, garbage. Leprechaun, no, I don't want to fight you. Well, there was an item there. Let's leave this level. I think I just leave there, this level. Oh, I don't think I had reached this, so I got piety for. I, I had forgotten about that. Is this a town? 12 enemies, okay, that's a long list. Mm, I don't believe this is a peaceful town. Looks like a dangerous open level instead. So, a lot of enemies, I'm here. I got full HP, but yeah, there's some unknowns here, like a centaur, doppelganger, I wonder. Use the movement case to navigate. Um, that okay, so that does the center. No, I am here. Okay, I cannot really use the movement keys to navigate. I guess that's the order in which they are listed, but yeah, it won't tell me what, what each one is. So, the double ganger is there. And I am here, and the exit is here. And I believe what I'm going to go do is just run straight for the exit and just pick that E. What is that E? The floating eye. Probably not that strong. So let's kill it. I think the stronger ones here may be the centaurs. Let's see. I, I think let, let's fight a little bit, but stay close to the exit in case we need to leave. So going to move. Doppelganger, floating eye, giant rat are all coming for me. Floating eye, one damage and I'm paralyzed like in Ananias and I cannot move. I 
cannot move and an, another floating eye is approaching and a giant rat I still cannot move and I'm gonna kill that floating eye I am covered by some liquid of the floating eye and I cannot move still full hit points so that chain mail is saving me a lot but I got hit once I can't move again and I will kill the floating eye and I'm again covered with floating eye blood I guess the ogre is coming the doppelganger is coming and I'm going out of this level and I did not pick anything but maybe I should have picked something let's let's wait wait and see how dangerous the enemies are really oh I got hit by the center and I can move again so that was a lot of damage I think I'm going to head out of here yeah let's just attempt to hit the center nine damage miss oops no no I think I'm leaving right another center I did not expect this so I don't have any recovery item yet so I all, the only thing that I have is praying and or using the wand which I believe was spent already yeah so let's pray let's pray and see who answers our prayers with P P I want healing I have four piety the slashy is healed by a holy ray of light emanating from the ceiling Takerna seems to get tired of slashy's request I am tired all right I was fully healed and if we oh the center was not really hostile <laughs> so I kind of wasted that I wonder if I could have checked that Ring of Sea Invisible, okay. Oak Wand, which we are going to use immediately. Let's, uh, with using point, we just wait until we are fully healed, which of course consumes. I, it's, I am badly frozen, so it's a cold room. It damaged me a little bit, it seems. Floating eye, sleeping. Can I see if it's uh, sleeping? No. Hell hound. Eight damage, nine damage. Okay. This is good. Potion of major healing. Imp. If they are like Dark Souls or not Dark Souls, Elden Ring seems are pretty bad, but this one died pretty quickly and then gained the level. Chain Hopper, I will stick to you until I identify you. Hellhounds, this is full of Hellhounds. The center. I think let's explore a little bit more. I am damaged every turn in this room. That was dangerous. Oh, th is that an altar? I wonder if it's an altar. But I did not see. Maybe using P, I can also sacrifice and recover my piety. We can try that. Come on, center body, step on the thing. I wonder if I can cancel. It's the altar. Yeah. Come on, center, come here. Wander randomly here. Doesn't want to, and he's not hostile, so he's not chasing me. I already recovered my hit points, so that was good. I want to let's let's how to say this let's 
lure him. Short sword, 1d6 plus 3, okay. So with time you identify stuff. I cannot waste more time, so ta take that. Now come here. Ah, you don't want to step there. Okay, pray. Oh no. No. What are altars good for? Let's try to kill the center there, maybe. It's dead, but nothing happened. Maybe I can drop stuff here. Let's drop the chain hook bird. Drop. How do you drop stuff? <sighs> hmm? Drop item with shift Q. I dropped it, but on cursed. Oh, so it, it's good for identifying if it's cursed. And it doesn't consume piety. So let's wear the chain hog bird. AC plus 5. Great. That, that was useful. That was useful. Let's also drop the ring of sea invisible. And see. It's on cursed. Let's drop the oak wand. It's just an oak wand. What did you want? You cannot equip it, so it cannot be cursed. What else do we want to see? The long sword, yeah. Huh, the long sword of animal science emits a black glow. That thing is cursed. Cursed, sorry. I suspected that. Uh, I think let's keep it. But let's only wear it if we don't have anything else or for some reason. It's good to, to know that it's cursed. Golden potion that I'm going to drink and carrying too much already. So let's... Oh, my back tingles because there's something secret nearby. I think I'm gonna drop that short sword. On top. Or maybe one of the padded armors. Yeah, and I think since we're going to identify this. This is just fresh water, okay. Letter and a buckler. We have a round shield. Let's pick up the buckler and identify it here. Did not admit that it's on course. So let's see how good it is. Okay, so I need to remove the round shield and then equip the buckler of Augur Strength. Nice. Well, it's less AC. But I got the chain hog bearer. I think this will be good. I wonder if it has like an increased food consumption or anything like that. I'm hungry now. I don't want to fight the center, so let's go. I'm in dungeon level 7 already, and I feel threatened by some trap nearby. T. Tiger? Ah, that's a new kind of monster for a roguelike that you don't see that often. And it's just there chilling out, so why will I disturb the tiger? Great sword. Can we go back up? Magic missile is great. I'm gonna go uh, and I don't know, maybe this is an exploit. I'm still spending some hit points in order to be able to do this. But we can drop the great sword here and the maze. They are uncursed. And we can wear the big sword, great sword. Oh, I mistyped that. Now I want the chain hog bird. Okay, and the uh, great sword is S. 
I need to unequip the mace to equip the great sword oh it needs to okay it needs to hands it seems in interesting so overburdened how did that happen oh because of because I unequipped stuff so let's just eat the slime mold slimy but fulfilling still overburdened yeah um, why <laughs> this is weird um i'm gonna equip the ring what the hell <laughs> let's drop the pirate armor that should be enough at least long last long last so interestingly we cannot see the stats of this great sword I guess until we soak it in, in some blood the tiger can stay there oh the tiger That was, it, he was pretty strong. And there was a hellhound that I did not know, Chais. And uh, still 2d6 plus 5. Instead of 1d6 plus 3, it's worth it. So let's keep it. I'm having a very lucky run. I just as I say that this happened. The leprechaun one, two, three, like twenty <laughs> of them. <laughs> it's like three, six, seven, twenty-one leprechauns. And I have to be careful. And there's a H. What is the H? 22 enemies. H is a hellhound, okay. And I know where I need to go. I need to go to the next level. Oh, there's some good things here. Short or nah. Oh, they reached me. Okay, I hope I can still escape this way. Alright, so gold is 335. <laughs> I wonder how many of them followed me. Like, what will be the best direction to run? <laughs> They haven't, did they, no, they haven't stole any gold from me. I think this was the best direction. Now they are following me, following me. Oh, some of them came this way. Gain a level, plus 10 HP. Okay. Yee, Yeti? Yeti. Miss, miss, oh, he, he try to hit me three times and his damage I don't know what it is because he hasn't hit me so we cannot know blam take this great sword hit six damage killed Iron ration, carrying a lot of stuff. There's a trap there. I don't think I need this short sword, for instance, or this leather armor. So let's leave that there and let's take the iron ration. Let's heal. A goblin came, but he also feels that there's a trap there. Major monster detection. That's useful. Face spider. What can it do? We don't know. So let's just try to hit it. 
Miss, miss, it's dead. The imp wants to fight. The scent. No, there's a trap there. I'm hungry now. Secret door. <gasps> That's a lot of ogres. And this is when we run away. I think maybe we can lure the... Oh, I don't even know where the exit is. Fantastic. This is a bit spammy, like uh, I have to dismiss every message about the ogres coming my way. How many? Okay, so the, the trap is here somewhere. Probably here. No? Okay. I think I evaded it. How many ogres are coming? Uncursed maze. Will they hit the trap? I think the trap is on the upper row. This goes upwards. This is a single logger and they reached me. And I hope how well I can do. Probably a lot of experience points if I manage to beat them. Manticore. Fires, but misses. And I'm gonna fire back with a magic missile wand. Seven points? That was a very weak manticore. <laughs> oh no, yet is. They attacked three times. Right, this is, this sword is super strong. It's a shame that I cannot wear the shield of Ogre Strength. I am almost level 6, so I'm gonna kill another Ogre, and that should probably take me to level 6 or 7, I don't know. And I'm stronger. And I'm not sure how, in addition to, I guess, damage, the strength stat affects anything. Affects the number of items we can carry, that's good, okay. Should we attempt to kill the jetty? No, we will not. I'm gonna go downwards, there's an eye here, it's not threatening me. Battle axe, centaur, are you hostile? No, you're just a peaceful centaur living there in your house. Umber, Hulk, one, two three times, they attack three times, like they are very savage hulks. Um, how slow are you? No, it's just as quick as I am. Hop! So, they... HD, I believe, again, is the dam damage. Okay, so they, they, got three, they, they got three attacks, 1d6, 1d6, and 2d4, okay. Alright, not that bad of a... Hulk. Opal ring, knife, nah. Centaur is living there, a peaceful life. The manticore. So what happened with that other manticore? It was like super weak. Miss, miss, hit for 15 damage. So it's got 22, okay. Iron Ration. Bubbling potion, carrying too much. Okay, so let's drop that round shield. And what else should we drop? Uh, just that. We're going to eat a little bit, and we also want to drink this bubbly potion. Blue, 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 blue. Where is the bubbly potion? What happened with it? Oh, can I see the message log? No, oh. really can't. Mm -hmm. 
interesting. What happened with the bubbly potion? Did it disappear? I, I don't see it. No, that's weird. I'll have to watch the replay to see what happened there. The ogre is dead. The jetty wants to fight. 26 three times. I got a pretty good armor here, so and a weapon, so I feel safe. Fortune cookie. Uh, I, let's drop anything like this long sword. Let's pick the fortune cookie and immediately eat it. They say that immortality might be guarded with yellow sea. Who? I don't know. Who says that? If I was immortal, I would just share that. I think it's time to leave. Let's play it safe and leave. Giant spider. Uh, there's oh, this is a spider slayer with cobwebs. Okay. Misty potion. What is happening with the potions? Gee. Oh, the bubbly potion is there, and I believe there's a bug. Yeah, I think the last. So when when there's um, hmm, space to page. Okay. Oh, so it's not a bug, I guess. It's just that there's. Over one page of stuff, so the bubbling potion and the misty potion are there. Let's drink the bubbling potion and I'm poisoned, okay. And let's drink the misty potion and I'm super strong. Muscle bulge. And poison, I wonder what that's going to do. It's killing me, I gotta... Let's eat an iron ration. So yeah, it's I'm still overburdened. Why? Because I'm poisoned and I have less strength, maybe? Probably. Temporarily, I guess. So let's drop some stuff. Let's drop the chain mail. Can I move now for... No, I, because I, maximum capacity is now 13. And yeah, it's killing me slowly. Oh, I'm recovered from poisoning, okay. And now I can carry 16. So that's these two things and this other thing. And let's wait. I feel excited about the battle axe. Hm. That doesn't tell me a lot. Oh, a lot of webs. I'm stuck in that web. As long as a lump, the Amber Hawk is coming. I wonder if he's gonna get stuck. Ah, he's a stuck. Poor Amber Hawk. Potion of Poison. Will that... Will, I wonder if I can throw it at an enemy or something. Okay, so let's go to the next level. We are carrying 16. Yeah. Peaceful center. Zombie Lord. is just too slow for me. Ah, it's pretty strong and has a lot of hit points. Wow. Bomb. The stealing downwards. A lot of cool stuff here. A warhammer. Alright. So yeah, I think uh, that's it for today's streaming. Just wanted to show you a little bit of what Grog is. I don't know, yeah, we can save the game, I hope it works, and maybe tomorrow I will do another session. Go to roguelite.games 
Yes, Thomas got that URL, that domain, which is awesome. And he's just using that to, well, reference his games. So you can go there and download Grog 101. I hope you enjoyed this short gameplay of the game. This run is going super good, and I'm not sure if I was super lucky or if the game is super easy. But yeah, go ahead and play it and let me know how it goes for you. And uh, thank you for watching and remember to subscribe and like and join the Discord where we discuss a lot of games that we are making. Um, and I will see you in the next stream. Bye bye.